so what i most of the ideas that i think about is something that i really want from myself so starting with a journal of case reports so when i was writing paper a lot of papers i wanted a journal which was dedicated to case reports um which where i can send a lot of my material since the major journals were not accepting them so i created geocr same with ortho tv i wanted to have a look at all the conference videos where multiple halls are running and the important sessions that i was missing so the, so similar thing is with online fellowships so when i'm now busy with my academic work and my clinical work and i can't leave that and go and uh, get attachment with a mentor and so physically it is not possible for me so that is where the idea of online fellowship uh, started so it is like for myself i want to go and do a fellowship with say uh, dr mohit bandari or dr jawad parvezi so how is it possible if i cannot leave physically so that's where the concept is and as a disclaimer we started the idea so it might look like we are promoting the platform and things like that but i'll just showcase what the idea is the concept was very very simple so it has it is somewhere between a physical fellowship and an online course so an online course where you watch videos for few hours but you don't develop a rapport with a mentor here we try to develop your rapport with the mentor so there is educational content there is social aspects there is talking to each other so and a constant uh, stay togetherness for around 2 months so it emerged for pandemic as ashish said where we all uh, most of the orthopedic surgeons we got into the habit of learning from videos learning from online uh, events and things like that and there was a huge response so that is a cultural change that happened with lot of us where we were primed to before that educational programs were happening online but i don't think the response as well as the reception of it was so good so it is the acceptance of online education and through that we saw that there is lot of people especially in periphery especially in practice for 10 years 15 years want to do kind of in depth learning not only learning from a webinar of half an hour but they want to actually talk to mentors talk to teachers for a prolonged period of time show them their cases interact with them so that is where the idea of the entire online fellowship was conceptualized there were two basic principles that we harped on one is rational decision making so this is the point that people will learn from online fellowship and reducing complication making your surgery safer so these are the two points on which all our curriculums are made and we speak to the mentors ask them that all their lectures as well as the entire uh, format of the fellowship is based on these two points so we increase the logical approach to decision making as well as Le- teach them tips and tricks to reduce the complication so it's it's kind of purely academic uh more theoretical kind of fellowship but we have a lot of surgical videos lot of case based presentation so one is like i said one is mentorship through mentorship once they start interacting not only with mentor but also with each other so we have around 50 to 100 fellows in each fellowship badge they not only interact with mentor they also interact with each other and they also present their cases so it sparks kind of critical thinking in a group and most of it is based on practical knowledge so that's what we are trying to propose is kind of in part between physical and online and india is the first where we started this so that's something we are proud of so continue the access to the mentor through whatsapp groups and case presentation through whatsapp so you are you are for 8 weeks or 12 weeks you are together with the mentor constantly through a virtual platform which is commonly used so that gives a kind of great interaction most of the fellows and the mentors 
now when they meet physically they can interact much more freely so earlier when so like dr tanna is running trauma fellowship or dr guru arid is running arthroplasty fellowship the virtual fellows when they meet them in in physical conferences they are much more approachable to them they the mentors actually behave like mentors and talk to them guide them into various aspects not only just cases but even a uh, lot of career guidance lot of other things so it opens a channel for you to get access to the mentor that is one of the major things that uh, these virtual fellowships look at so there are weekly live zoom sessions typically they are 8 to 12 weeks every week there is a theme and uh, there is a zoom meeting of 90 to 120 minutes every week but whatsapp communication goes on like continuously so we have the best mentors so dr viga agash sir dr tanna sir rajiv shah guru reddy the entire ifix team which is running the ifix program today we also have dr mangal dr aiman pachure sir aditya abhay and sanjeet sir all part of the team and they are taking various courses and various fellowships so who can apply i think um, like i said it is basically an academic fellowship only to achieve two points one is rational thinking and second is to reduce complication just by learning from a mentor so we don't have very strict uh, parameters for that it's just two years post ms or post graduate degree whatever you have so specific fellowship if you have prior experience in arthroplasty or have some paper so that will be much more preferable we even reject fellowship so is not like we take everybody who applies so they are most of them are experience based module these are all curated by the mentors so ortho tv team as well as the mentors both curate together the entire program so this is one of the major advantages like ashish men mentioned fellows can attend this fellowship while they are doing their jobs and their private practice so it also gives most of them will present cases that they have seen on that day or on that week or that month so they get a kind of real time guidance from the mentors these are the disadvantages there is no surgical hands on experience it is it depends on how much is the fellow inclined to learn what we have seen is that mentors are always inclined to give knowledge many a times it is the fellows who fall short of uh, say attending the meeting asking more questions so that is where i think even in physical fellowship that is what happens these are the add ons which we have uh, kind of planned that we we'll have a physical event at the end of every virtual fellowship or have a short term observership with mentors we had also done cadaveric course of foot and ankle fellowship we had done conference registration so dr guru reddy at the end of his fellowship announced special uh, package for the fellows for each conference vr modules are in development i think within 2 3 months we'll we'll release the vr modules and also research so we had more than 1000 fellows in last 2 years so we started in 2021 so 3 years old from india middle east africa asia pacific so lot of fellows have joined us over last 2 years and this is what we have achieved over i mean after the feedback that we got from fellows so they we have created a network of mentors and fellows even after fellowship that have ended 2 years they are in touch they are interacting online on whatsapp group they are talking to each other the mentors and the fellows and also the fellows amongst each other it has definitely reduced complication according to the survey we have taken out and improved patient outcome to a certain extent this is one of the cases that one of the fellows sent me that he has seen this non indian and he could achieve this kind of uh, i mean plan this kind of surgery just because of guidance from the mentor uh, this is the trauma fellowship that was happened so we are trying to fill a gap in surgical training by enhancing the quality of education and care so um 
Well, like I think uh, Prashant made the point when we are doing a residency, we are more into say hands-on training, more into the surgical part rather than critical thinking part or the research part. So I think we that is what we are trying to aim at, and we are again evolving to more platforms. So this is the Ortho TV global platform that we have created, where we have virtual fellowships, courses, and CMEs, as well as physical events that are planned according to around the fellowships. So this is the Ortho TV Academy platform where things are happening. What we are adding to our future fellowships are, is the AI Enhanced Fellowship. So we are going to curate uh, ortho AI subsections based on the past fellowship as well as the videos of the mentors so that when fellows join us, they can have kind of enhanced experience with AI. Search opportunities from the mentors. So a lot of these mentors have a lot of data, but again, they are busy in the practice, don't have time. So we are trying to get fellows who are interested in research liaise with these mentors to create more papers and publish publication for the mentors so they can get, share the authorship. This is one of the websites that we created after we learned that a lot of people are interested. So a lot of Indian fellowship as well as certain fellowships where Indians can apply is being posted on this site. Um, you can scan the code and know more about us. So. If Neeraj wants to add anything more, uh, that's the end of my presentation.